गाइस कैसे हैं आप लोग मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल में आपका स्वागत है आज मैं आप लोग के लिए फिर से एक न्यू वीडियो लाया हूँ तो वीडियो पूरा ध्यान से देखना और पूरा देखना अगर आप नए हैं तब मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना न भूले कोड फ्लिक्स अन नोन कोडर्स फ्लिक्स इट लर्न इट आज मैं आप लोग को सी प्लस प्लस के बारे में बताने जा रही हूँ तो वीडियो पूरा ध्यान से देखे और मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना न भूले कोड फ्लिक्स अन नोन कोडर्स C++ प्लस प्लस इज अ पावरफुल जनरल पर्पज प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज पॉप्यूलर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इन यूज पॉप्यूलर लैंग्वेज दट आर मेनली इन यूज आर जावा सी प्लस प्लस पाइथन एंड सी लोअर लेवल लैंग्वेज लाइक असेंबली लैंग्वेज सी सी प्लस प्लस दीज लैंग्वेज फोर्स द प्रोग्राम आर टू थिंक मोर अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम इन कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग टर्म्स एंड इट्स इम्प्लीमेंटेशन इन स्टेड ऑफ द बिजनेस लॉजिक As you can see despite being old C++ is relatively popular still today which is a feat in and its own The graph is from What is C++ C++ is a cross platform language that can be used to create high performance applications C++ was developed by Bian Strastrup as an extension to the C language C++ gives programmers a high level of control over system resources and memory. The language was updated 3 major times in 2011, 2014 and 2017 to C++11, C++14 and C++17. Who uses C++? Some of today's most visible used systems have their critical parts written in C++. Examples are Amadeus Airline Ticketing, Bloomberg Financial Formation, Amazon, Web Commerce, Google, Web Search, Facebook, Social Media. Why learn C++? C++ is used to develop games, desktop apps, operating systems, browser, and so on because of its performance. After learning C++, it will be much easier to learn other programming languages like Java, Python, etc. C++ helps you to understand the internal architecture of a computer, how computer stores and retrieves information. Five basic concepts of C++ here are five basic C++ concepts. 1. C++ variables. Variables are the backbone of any programming language. A variable is merely a way to store some information for later use. We can retrieve this value or data by referring to a word that will describe this information. Once declared and defined, they may be used many times within the scope in which they were declared. 2. C++ control structures. When a program runs, the code is read by the compiler line by line from top to bottom and for the most part left to right. This is known as code flow. When the code is being read from top to bottom, it may encounter a point where it needs to make a decision. Based on the decision, the program may jump to a different part of the code. It may even make the compiler rerun a specific piece again or just skip a bunch of code. 3. C++ data structures. A data structure is a great way to get around having to create thousands of variables. C++ contains many types of inbuilt data structures. most often used as arrays which will be taught later 4 c++ syntax the syntax is a layout of words expression and symbols well it's because an email address has its well defined syntax you need some combination of letters numbers potentially with underscores underscore or periods in between followed by an at the rate at symbol followed by some website domain company.com so Syntax in a programming language is much the same. There are some well-defined set of rules that allow you to create some piece of well-functioning software. But if you don't abide by the rules of a programming language or syntax, you'll get errors. 5. C++ tools. In the real world, a tool is something, usually a physical object that helps you to get a certain job done promptly. Most crucial tool considered by many is an IDE an integrated development environment. An IDE is a software which will make your coding life so much easier. IDEs ensure that your files and folders are organized and give you a nice and clean way to view them. What you need to C++ get started. To start using C++, you need two things, a text editor like Notepad to write C++ code. a compiler like gcc 
to translate the C++ code into a language that the computer will understand. There are many text editors and compilers to choose from. In this tutorial, we will use an IDE. How to install C++ IDE? An IDE integrated development environment is used to edit and compile the code. Popular IDEs include Code Blocks, Eclipse, and Visual Studio. These are all free, and they can be used to both edit and debug C++ code. Note. Web-based IDEs can work as well, but functionality is limited. We will use Eclipse in our tutorial, which we believe is a good place to start. And it's free easily available. How to quick start C++? It's very simple. First download your IDEs. Let's create our first C++ file. Open code blocks and go to file greater than new greater than empty file. Now you can start coding. What you want to make and create on C++. Save the file as my first program.cpp file greater than save file as. you so much for watching my full video i hope this video help you please like comment and share and subscribe to my youtube channel press the bell icons get notifications first